and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade and today we want to look at WWF Wrestlemania the arcade game now for those of you that never got a chance to play this game you really missed out this is one of those games at the arcades that was unlike any other now anyone born uh, during the 80s will tell you about Wrestlemania and how it absolutely exploded on our televisions and I'm not just talking about the US I am talking about worldwide it was a phenomenon that was truly breathtaking. Um, you can generally tell the difference in age group between a lot of people simply based on the initials. WWF, everyone knows that's the World, Why, that's the World Wrestling Federation. But for some reason, because of a bunch of pissed off pandas, then they got changed and now of course it's WWE or WCW and all the different variations that came afterwards. Now, this arcade game, one of the reasons it was so different was because it was one of the first wrestling games to really bring the idea of wrestling into the arcade because one-on-one -on -one beat em ups had existed for a while this game was released in 1995 and by then you had your street fighter one and two you had your mortal kombat you had a lot of beat em up games already in a market in the marketplace so it was a little bit saturated but this tried to bring the same one-on-one uh, -on -one combat that a beat em up gave you but with the license of arcade games. On this channel, we do try to focus a lot on big licenses, both on TV and um, or in movies, largely because on the whole, they've all been pretty terrible. But occasionally, just occasionally, there's a gem, a real glowing game where both a license and some developers got together and made something special. Hence, WWF WrestleMania. Now, and what we're going to do is we're going to get into this and as usual later on in the game we'll bung on some tips and tell you a little more about the history of this game but without further ado let's get into this game shall we so boom okay so we have eight characters um and do you know what let's go for do you know what he's been there since the beginning the undertaker there's intercontinental uh, championship or world wrestling federation championship i think you know which one i'm going for so here's the versus screen if you will and right now it's one against two so let's get started so again the combat itself this one on two combat system here already seen before in the likes of uh, street fighter alpha in dramatic mode and more that i mean look at how much fun that is now if i remember correctly the issue with this game does start being when you get their energy down to zero what happens then now we've got a block button We've got a um, four button combat system of punch and power punch and the same with kick and the ability to do special moves. So there we go, we've got one guy on the floor. Oh dear, I might get pinned. One would hope we can get out of this and we're out. Oh, well there we go, all I've done there is put myself on the floor in a depressing way. Let's see if we can use that properly this time. Oh, Legs Luger, you took that hard. Fair play to The Undertaker. He's not changed a great deal. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the people involved in WWF, there can't be a great deal they can do career-wise. But the facts still remain. Oh, dear, this is not going well at all, is it? Oh, dear. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, are those guys fighting amongst themselves? See, that didn't go well at all, did it? It has to be said that it's quite a nuanced control system. Um, let's get another continue in there. Here we go. Yokozuna. Such a parody of a person there. I perhaps shouldn't have gone for one versus two, given that I've never played this game in about 15 years. I might have to let that continue system run out and come back to it, I think. Oh, dear. The, the, the over-the-top nature of this game is one of the things that made it quite appealing, it should be said. Now, if I could work out how to pin someone, I could probably do something about these guys. Even the fact that there's a combo system I find quite entertaining indeed. See, how does one pin? Apparently I pin. So there you go, Yokozuna did a number on those two quite successfully. Let's see how round two pans out for me. The sound effects are very good as well. I quite like, um, obviously prior to this, there were other games that used motion, uh, sort of recordings of actors. Oh dear, that didn't go well, did it? 
apparently you can only use the uh, turnbuckle on the top corners of the game. Something I find a tad unrealistic there. Oh dear. Oh, Shawn Michaels really laying the pain. Okay. Oh no, didn't get this. It's not looking good for Yokozuna this time. Oh, I couldn't even get that in. And they're doing, they're going to lay the smack. And it's over for there. Um, but no, I quite like the slight over-the-top nature of this. There's a nice pace to the game as well, which I quite like too. I'm starting to hate the fact I'm, I can't even get to the top of that turnbuckle without one of these guys dicking me sav savagely. But let's see if I can do that properly that time. Okay. I don't want to say the hitboxes are absolutely effed up, but there is no way that shouldn't have connected. No, this is quite a fun game. I imagine this, particularly if you were a big fan of the wrestling, um, you know, drama. I don't know if that's the right word you'd use for it. I'm not going to call it anything more than play acting. Let's face it, that's what it was. But no, no, I think this could. Be, I can imagine the appeal of playing and playing as your favourite wrestlers. And there we go. Game over. One would hope I've won that round. No Yokozuna, I'll be honest there. He definitely gave me... And I got a bonus for not blocking. I won't lie, that's largely because I forget that there's a block button. Uh, which is not something I think will assist me in this game at all. Ah, oh, Razor Ramon. Classic. See, if you were uh, a Brit, there were certain wrestlers that either didn't make it across the pond. Or were still... Were just... They weren't deemed cool enough because... There were more than eight wrestlers, we know that, but only eight made the cut. I will tell you some more about that during the fact section of this video. Um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, that was a lot easier than it should have been. I'm slightly disconcerted. Perfect. I didn't even know such a thing existed in this game. <clears throat> and now, two times damage, I'm not sure why the game would give me that. Now... Later on in the game, there is the ability to have far more wrestlers on screen as well. And if things do get rather chaotic, if I get an opportunity, I will show you that in the video later on. The hitboxes are a little bit off, I think. There's a preset area where any contact can be made in this game. But for the most part, it does hold up very, very well in terms of playability. Oh, dear. Real question is, can you leave the arena? I believe you can if memory serves. But the hitboxes do leave a lot to be desired in this game. And there we go. Another round bites the dust. But you know what? Let's pause that and give you some facts about WrestleMania, the arcade game. Well, as already mentioned, the game was released in 1995 for worldwide release. It was ported to so many home console systems, even some really Billy Basic 8-bit systems too. Um, it was developed by Midway and uh, developed by another company later on for the home console systems. But the arcade was built by Midway using the Midway Wolf Unit arcade cabinet. Um, and the game itself does have some very interesting facts, mainly about the developers more than the game itself. Um, for example, one of the biggest complaints the game had at the beginning was people were saying, oh, it's trying to be like Mortal Kombat. It's trying to be as over top as Mortal Kombat. And of course, the irony is, it was made by the same company. Both Mortal Kombat and WrestleMania was made by Midway. So if you are going to say it was trying to be the other one or trying to rip it off, do bear in mind it's the same company. And of course, they're going to utilize the same technology. On top of that, there was talk about them be having finishing moves as well, which was something that was very controversial at the time. But they decided in the end to not bother with finishing moves because they didn't think it would get within the, the spirit of the game, uh, which is a shame. But there is actually one finishing move, I believe, by The Undertaker that's not really a death, but it's pretty close. Um, on top of that, uh, there was actually meant to be a secret character known as Adam Bomb. Pfft. Um, awful pun there, awful, awful pun. But his, the character was never finished in time for release. Uh, people say that there should be character sprites and information in the game, but to this day, no one has found them. But several interviews have in, um, indicated that Adam Bomb was a secret character. On top of that, uh, the fact that it, the whole game was made with motion capture 
um, over green screens. And every single WWF wrestler featured in the game is the original um, actor, if you will. I'm not sure whether they like to be called actors or sportsmen. But it should be mentioned that they don't supply their own voices. Only Vince Vaughn and Jerry the King Law, uh, Laura, 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 um, uh, they're the only people that have used their sprites and their own versions of the uh, their own um, voices. Everyone else has got actors, which seems incredibly stupid, given that it is them, the actors in the game, uh, and them being captured on green screen, but no one thought to use their voices. Maybe it cost too much, maybe it was just too technical to put into the arcade, but the voices are there. Um, Again, the game was expl uh, developed, the big development actually began as early as 1994 when it was re eventually released in 1995, um, which explains for a lot of people one of the biggest complaints at the time was to do with um, certain WWF stars in 1995 not being in the game, even though the game was released in the latter part of that year. Um, it's people such as uh, Diesel, Hammerhurst, Him Helmsley, otherwise known as Triple H, uh, they were not included in the game, but they were included in certain console ports of the game. Um, another little Easter egg there from the developers themselves. In the front uh, background there, you can see there of all the audience members. Let's unpause it and have a look. All those audience members there in the background, uh, a lot of them are real people, some taken from the arcade itself. Let's pause it there. But at the same time, um, two of the people are actually the developers of this game, namely Mark Turnwell and Sam Delvita are cheering people in the front. I'd love to tell you which ones they are, but I tried looking on Wikipedia and the image, the, the image of them does not match any of those people. I did try. Um, so a large amount of rumours circulated those hidden fatalities. Um, there, uh, there was nothing in the code about it. Um, the rumour actually extended to the wrestlers themselves that talked about a certain animations they had to perform that never got used in the game. Um, they, they did plan to have them, as I say, they did plan on having fatalities, but they didn't want to promote that sort of thing in the WWF Foundation, which is not foundation, that is the Panda people. The World Wrestling Federation just said, no, we're not having it, and then it was left. But it was always uh, mentioned over and over again in magazines that there was some sort of code or maybe there was going to be an update on the console port that would have those finishers. But the only The Undertaker, as I say, has that finisher. And he uses mystical powers to push the loser into a casket. But that's, although it's a bit final, that was by no means a fatality. So, heading back into the game. Here we are. The Undertaker and Shawn Michael. Two names of enormous notoriety in WWF over the years. Sorry, and WWE, WCW, whatever it calls itself these days. Now, even back then, I remember knowing that The Undertaker was a key character. For me, being a Brit, I enjoyed uh, the British Bulldog and Jake the Snake Roberts for the obvious reason that I shared a name with him. A bit childish, but you know, I was a child. Now. Given the, the, the few number of characters, I'm curious what's going to happen at the end of this arcade mode, but I'm still not certain I'm going to make it. Was that fish? I got close though, I got a bit, I'll be honest, I'm not doing too bad for a man that hasn't played this game for an exceptionally long amount of time. But no, I do quite enjoy this game, I'll be honest. I can, I can definitely see why kids would have really enjoyed this at the arcades. One, playing visages of actual characters, something that was, again, Mortal Kombat had live um, actors, but if you didn't know the actors, how could, you know, how would you, you know, relate to them in that way? Oh, good block. Good block, Sean. Oh, there you go, Sean. Take it in the face. Shouldn't say that. Terribly inappropriate. Don't try that at home. So unless this game plans on giving me some sort of mirror mode, I'm very curious if I manage to pass this. Okay, did he just do like a Spider-Man fireball thing? I'm not sure how I feel about fireballs in this. I'm only barely contending with The Undertaker having some sort of weird... What the hell was that? That can't be legitimate. I know I'm going to sound a bit football, but ref? Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, I think it might be curtains for us. Oh, no. So let's find out. Are we going to get a mirror mode? 
there's only eight characters to choose from. So surely I'm going to go up against myself again. Okay, it's Mike and some, and Razor Ramon. Okay, and Bam Bam Bigelow. Okay, Bam Bam, I'm assuming you are some sort of boss, mate, because you're on fire. You are literally on fire. I remember him having, yeah, we are. Yeah, there's the fire. I do remember that. I think the sound is very good in this game. It's very appealing. You care quite a lot about what the characters are doing. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. He got me and my face is on fire. Now, again, I've watched wrestling growing up. I knew it was actors. Everyone knew it was actors. Well, some people pretended and said it was real. They were wrong. I bet they felt stupid when they became adults. But I don't, I don't remember anyone being set on fire in the ring. Call me Mr. Picky. Oh, no. Knockout Bam Bam right. Oh, dear. This doesn't really have... Sh oh, no, it's over for me. This game doesn't really have um, Street Fighter moves from what I could see. Well, I couldn't pull them off anyway. Anyway... So I lie, I'm a bit, bit, bit disappointed there. If they put a mic in my face, I'm pretty sure I'd use the bad words. But thank you for watching Robbie's Arcade today. That was WWF WrestleMania. If you do are interested in this game, do click like there. Otherwise, if you want to see any other games on the channel, pop it in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheerio.